È un evento molto importante perché abbiamo celebrato i 500 anni della morte di Leonardo da Vinci, un grande genio del rinascimento italiano. Leonardo da Vinci è, uno, è una delle principali figure della, della cultura e della genialità italiana. Le sue invenzioni, le sue innovazioni sono state avveniristiche, quindi attuali ancora oggi. Ten years ago, I got one idea about an uh, instrument which was invented by Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, he called it viola organista. And I said, I have to get that instrument. But how can, can, can you get the instrument which was invented by Leonardo da Vinci 500 years ago and nobody plays it? So I said, I have to do it. like 20 years ago I built my first instrument according to Johann Zilbermann that was a clavichord but I bought plans of the instrument in Nuremberg that was something else that building viola organista because we have just only sketches there's no plans but that being a musician I could also think on different way what should I play on this instrument what kind of repertoire uh, how can I play on this instrument? I was a pianist and years ago, of course, I was uh, watching a, a very famous uh, movie, To Le Matin Le Monde. I said, I cannot play such music on the piano. So when I got information about keyboard instruments, which sounds like viola, I said it's something absolutely for me. First repertoire, which I thought about, was early uh, French, uh, early French Baroque music, uh, written for uh, Viola da Gamba by Saint Colomb and Mario Marais. When I am approaching to the personality of uh, Leonardo da Vinci, I'm finding a, a man who was thinking on probably the same way as we do, and uh, he did so beautiful uh, things in so many fields. And now I think that I discovered um, one field of his uh, imagination, of his uh, work, which was not explored. And maybe people didn't know about that.
could happen if that instrument was successful during his time? Because it could happen uh, enormous things in the history of music.